Hello everyone. Today I will share with you how to work with different item parameters on Reactor EP and how they can help you create a great MPS calculation. Before I start, it's important to understand the major difference between Reactor EP and AS. Reactor EP calculates MPS and MRP for long-term capacity analysis, while AS does scheduling for work order short-term analysis. It's also important to highlight why Reactor EP is better than a traditional ERP. Preactor AP calculates MPS based on real shop floor capacity using primary and secondary constraint levels. Preactor AP is also highly flexible and customizable, and this video will show how to manage different production strategies by simply changing parameters. And finally, AP has amazing visual charts that helps planners to quick overlook resources capacity and items inventory levels. So now, let's walk through the item's parameters. Let's start with the Make to Stock field. When checked, it enables Preactor to calculate MPS against demand date and quantity, always respecting days of cover limits. It's very important to understand that backwards calculation will not be allowed when this field is checked. Whenever the planner needs to find capacity available in the previous weeks, then the best option is to uncheck this field. The days of cover fields are the amount of days that your inventory will cover the future demand. While calculating MPS, Preactor will attempt to maintain inventory levels based on the target days of cover if capacity is available, only when make to stock field is checked. Mean days of cover is the lower limit to be respected by MPS calculation. Mean and multiple reorder quantities define the batch sizes for MPS and have high impact in resource capacity and inventory levels if they are too high, so please use them carefully. Lead time is the number of days used for backward MPS calculation, which prevents the system to calculate production in the same week of the original demand. This field will only work when make to stock field is turned off. Mean and safety stock fields are quantity limits that conflict with the days of cover as they have the same purpose. The trick is that these fields will only work if the item parameters is set to two, which enables the field use static stock levels. When this flag is checked, Preactor will override the days of cover functionality and use stock fields instead. To help our customers, we created a new planning parameters table which has a list of all six parameters options as shown on the description field on the screen. As an example, let's use option 6, which enables make to stock flag and use static stock as well. While the safety stock is set to zero, we may expect Preactor to calculate MPS for the lowest possible inventory and at the latest feasible date as well, just like a just-in-time strategy. Does that make sense? I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks everyone, goodbye.